Hey, it's Mark A Squared. We have in front of us here an American 1100 cutaway lock purchased off of eBay. Uh, cutaways is the seller. Highly recommend it. Um, I have the key here. And so this is a cutaway. So it shows all the mechanism is exposed so you can see what's happening, as well as the key chamber down here, the, the cylinder, I should say, where the driver pins up here forced down by the springs, right? And then there's key pins, which will be set to the right height by this key when I insert this key. So let me do that. And we'll see those pins. I did pick up the right key, didn't I? Yeah. See those pins all align uh, right along that shear line there. As I turn it, you can see the key, uh, key pins exposed there. And the balls at the shackle end on the left side of the lock, those move into the grooves that are at right on either side of that uh, mechanism at the top there to let the spring release the shackle. Okay, that's how that, that's how a, a basic pin tumbler lock works. Take this out. So I have this lock's brother down below with a different key. So the bicking, the way that the key heights are set, on this cutaway lock, the numbers are 73746. Uh, just keep that in mind because the numbers on this lock, now this key, I should say, are 78338. So it's going to set the pins to a different height. It's not going to work. Some of them are right. At first, seven is right. But everything else, you can see some of them are too low, some of them are too high, and that's what keeps another key from working in your lock. Um, I'm not going to pick it right now because I have it reversed in the wrong angle for being left-handed. I turned this thing around to pick it, but this was the best setup for showing these pins and all that. Anyway, that is a uh, American 1100 and the mechanism for seeing the inside. Maybe I could do this too. Let's see. If I push in, this might just work. It might be too grainy, but let's see what happens. And let's see. This is the original key. Not too bad. You can see how that all lines up. I think there's five of the six cylinders there have pins in them. This is the standard way that it comes. I'm not going to actually release that. Here's the key that is not going to function right because it's wrong for most of them. That first one is correct. It's still a seven, but everything else is either too high, too low, right? Um, anywho, this is my fun new toy to experiment with. I'm going to try rekeying it and setting it to various different combinations to make it more difficult or less. I might. I say might because... I've been having issues getting the screw out that holds all this mechanism in place. They lock tight them, and I'd rather not screw up this brand new, uh, very cool, very cool uh, cutaway here, right? So anyways, that's what I've got for today. I may post even more things on this this guy today. I came in the mail about three hours ago, and four hours ago, and I haven't put it down yet. So anyway, Mark A Squared, out.